Hello, I am Matt, or Enterprising Engine 93, and today I thought I'd show you how to replace your reverse osmosis water filters. Um, to begin, we have to remove our stage one and then our stage three cylinders here and replace them with new stage one and stage three cylinders that I have right here. Then when you're done, you have to make sure to put the stage three filter in first and then lastly, the very first cylinder you took out, the stage one. Okay, so to twist, remember it's lefty-loosey. You can grab onto this area here and turn it. Sometimes they can get stuck, especially if you install them too tightly. So like this, and then you turn it, and then eventually you'll be able to pull it out quite smoothly. It kind of grips into place with this corkscrew here, and that's why it can get a little lodged in if you brought it in too tight. I'm now going to remove our number three. We're going to do the same thing. These were installed very tightly before, so it might take me a little jostling to get. But then here we are. And when you're done with each cylinder, be sure to dump them in the trash. This was our first one, and this is number three. We're done with those. Now we have our new ones here. This is the stage three. The stage three must go in before the number one. and righty tighty. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear a water flow sound when it's correctly installed. The pressurization happens. We got number three in successfully. Then we save our number one for last. So we'll do the same thing. Remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. I don't know if you can hear the water flow. It is loud in here, but we have successfully installed a fresh set of reverse osmosis water filters. Thank you for watching. Ain't nothing but a heartache. <laughs> Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Are we rolling? Tell me why. <laughs> I never want to hear you say I want it that way. I really Tell appreciate the gesture.